Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. This is Sam, and I'm the owner of Malia Stitches. And I just wanted to show you, today is New Year's Day. And here in Missouri, we got a little bit of an ice storm and overnight, and then now it's sleeting. So everything's really, really slick. All the trees have ice all over them. I don't know if you can see. Some people are actually out of power, but we're doing pretty good here. Uh, today I wanted to take you guys along. I'm going to pick out some uh, St. Patrick's Day designs, and I wanted to show you kind of the my go-to um, embroidery companies or digitizers that I use, and then um, show you some of the designs I'm going to pick out. So. Okay, I am at the Etsy website, and I'm going to search some St. Patrick's um, embroidery font, or not embroidery fonts, but embroidery applique designs. So let's type that in. And a lot of things come up. Sometimes you just have to kind of weed through them all. This one is a clip art. It's not an embroidery design. This one is an embroidery design. It's a unicorn. Unicorns are pretty popular right now. Just kind of look around. Here's a shamrock that you can personalize or it's a, these are called sp split embroidery designs or split um, monogram designs I guess would be the proper term we just look through and see if we can find anything that we really like When you're looking, you just have to make sure that it's an embroidery design and not um, clip art or SVG or something like that. So this is really cute. This is one of my favorite embroidery, embroidery digitizers, the Itch to Stitch. They always have very cute designs. They also have an online or a website which is the it's just itch.com you can usually get their designs a little bit cheaper on their website versus etsy because they have to um etsy charges the, the fees to sell there so they have to upcharge a little bit to help cover those fees this little dinosaur is really cute dinosaurs are pretty popular right now We just go through here and we'll pick a couple. And sometimes I'll go to my favorites. I have a bunch of shops that I have favorited. So you go to your favorites, shops. A lot of these are some, a lot of these are the girls on the Discord group. They 
These are all their shops. They sell similar things. Shirts. Embroidered shirts. Tutus. Some do masks. Some do um, handmade. Baby clothing. It's really a, a talented group of people. Some make bows. Some do blankets. It's all kinds of stuff. Uh, Stitchtopia is a good digitizing or digitizer. Um, Apple Dumplin Designs is a good digitizer. Designs by Juju is a good digitizer. And I think a lot of these have their own websites as well. Cherry Stitch Designs is a good digitizer. These are all kind of my go-to digitizers. Designs by Little B. She has a bunch of um, like keychains and lip balm holders and hand sanitizer holders, all in the hoop designs that you can do. So let's see what Apple Dumplings has for designs for St. Patrick's Day. So over here she has 75 designs that are Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's theme so we'll click on that <clears throat> excuse me and this is one of the designs I purchased recently for Valentine's Day it's up in my shop or actually it was this version of that design We already have all our Valentine's Day, so let's look for some St. Patrick ones. I personally look for ones that are just um, the applique design. It's similar to something like this and then I like to put the wording in myself or uh, leave it plain. I don't usually go for things like this that have a lot of words on them already. Okay, so I didn't find anything that I really liked there. So let's try... Um, the edge to stitch. They have fifty three designs, just St. Patrick's designs. This one's really cute. So for this one, I would probably just do the face with a name underneath. And same with this hat. I would probably just do the hat with a name underneath. Or I might put a number one and put first St. Patrick's Day. My first St. Patrick's Day. And here's an, a boy version. So she's got a lot of cute stuff on her site. And like I said, I would go to her website, um, theitchtostitch.com first. Because her designs are a little bit cheaper on there versus on Etsy because of the charges. But Etsy, the fees that Etsy charges to sell. But she has some cute ones, so I'll probably go to her website and look at that. 
Alright, so I'm going to do a little bit more searching and then I'll show you at the end which ones I chose. Real quick, I wanted to mention uh, Creative Applique. They're also another great digitizing company. Um, they're on Etsy as well. I believe they also have their own website. Yes, they do right there. Um, there's all there. Okay, so I've picked these three designs. They are from Creative Applique. I'm ordering or getting them from Etsy, so they are $3.39 a piece. They're on sale for 15% off. And I'm going to get a couple from the Itch to Stitch. Um, this is like a little leprechaun, boy leprechaun. Um, and you can monogram in the circle. Here's a girl version, unicorn, and a hat that I can turn into. Um, this is my first um, St. Patrick's Day design. And they are $3.60 a piece. I think six or seven designs will be plenty uh, for my shop. I don't have any designs in there right now for St. Patrick's Day, so I want to give a little bit of a variety, but I don't want to go quite as crazy as I did with the Valentine's Day ones, because with those I did like 17 different designs, so that was a little, I think that was a little crazy. So, um, another thing I like to do before I purchase these is I like to go through and make sure other people don't already use these designs or they're not very popular on there because I don't want to um, be competition for my fellow embroiderers. I want everybody to have the same chance um, as somebody purchasing an item from them as they do from me. So I will do that real quick and then I'll be right back. All right, so here I'm searching um, kids embroidered St. Patrick's Day shirts and I'm really just seeing a lot of rainbows a lot of trucks and <clears throat> heavy equipment excuse me heavy equipment carrying uh, the little clovers a lot of clovers some monogrammed clovers some tractors This, there's a dinosaur one, another um, heavy equipment one over there. I'm not really seeing a whole lot of unicorns. I'm not really seeing a whole lot of gnomes. Um, there's some horseshoes. Hi, kids. Oh, there's Malia. Just a lot of monogrammed kind of stuff. So I think the designs that I picked out are going to be good. Um, <clears throat> Can I help you? What are you eating? Candy? <laughs> of course you're eating candy. No, I'm not. So I think we're going to be good here on the designs we picked out. Alright. So that's just kind of how I go about picking out designs and, or shopping for designs, picking them out, making sure that um, not in competition with too many other embroiderers, um, trying to share the space as much as I can with everybody else. And um, so I'm going to go and purchase those. And you'll probably have a video of me making samples next. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I appreciate all of your support. I've been getting lots of new subscribers. Um, so let's keep this channel growing so we can uh, teach people how to run an embroidery business or just embroider or you just come to have fun and see how 
um, I'm doing and how our business is go growing. So thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, like this channel, share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.